Question number 170. As a project manager, you are tasked with ensuring that the project remains aligned with organizational benefit goals. Which of the following activities should you perform to achieve this? So I can understand the question is focusing on understanding of business domain, focusing on alignment, and it is also giving an indication that it remains aligned. Yeah? So it remains aligned. It starts with an alignment and continue remains aligned. So this is something which I am learning here. And we need to choose out of our four options. Let's see option A. Develop a project charter consisting of the scope, assumptions, constraint, high-level risk, high-level benefits, and their realization. A candidate option, project charter definitely gives us a structure. It may set the right project objective as per the organizational benefit expectation possible. What makes me a little suspicious, it may be a good starting point, but keeping us aligned is a little bit missing here. Project charter is not necessarily prepared by a project manager. It can be, but it is not necessarily. Yes, it is approved by project sponsor. So that's a little bit another negative point. And benefit and benefit realization is not necessarily a content of a project charter. It basically focuses on high level project objective risk and assumption, but could be there. But yeah, that's a little bit suspicious. Let's see if we get a better option to select for this question. Option B, prepare a business case defining the project objective requirements, risk and and cost and benefits. It is more before the project charter. So we are going before. The suspicious thing is business case is not a necessarily a, a scope of a project manager. It is not a project document. Should be prepared by the project portfolio people or a sponsors. Yeah. So that way, yes, business case definitely ensures that we, we set the right direction for the project but it does not ensure it remains aligned and not prepared by the project manager. So though it's an activity to keep the things aligned, but not necessarily done by the project manager and not necessarily updated by project manager throughout the, the project. Option C, develop the benefit realization plan and its measurement criteria to set the benefit baseline for the project. Great idea. Yes, you should have a benefit management plan or a benefit realization plan, and it should ensure that we have a right measurement points in place. And we should have a baseline of benefit values as well. But this all may not be a responsibility of a project manager. And it may be a good starting point, but it doesn't keep us aligned. But it's a very a close option. We can say, yes, we need to have a benefit uh, a realization or a benefit management plan. But who does it? Not necessarily a project manager, portfolio people or business owner should do it. Let's see option D. But uh, uh, I can say I, A and C are still suspicious. If I don't get a better option, I have to choose out of these two. But let's see option D. Provide periodic update on benefit metrics as per the governance and benefit management plan. Now, this looks like a weak option. You know, you just need to provide reports and, and updates. But this is something you are doing continuous assessment of the benefit realized and keeping stakeholder updated after understanding what are the benefits. So actually, as a project manager, I need to start with understanding the benefit which we are expecting from the project, understanding the stake and developing a common understanding amongst the stakeholder about the benefits. So I need to start from there, which a, a project charter or a benefit ma a realization management plan can help me in, in realizing that or understanding that. And going forward on a periodic milestone reviews, I should bring the stakeholders on a common page so that all of us are aware how we are realizing the benefit. Probably I may not have all the, the access, all the material which is needed for tracking the benefit. There is a possibility, but whatever I have, I should be presenting that. That is my job as a project manager. And that's why option D is the right option. Now, this particular option maps to your exam content outline task to business domain, which focuses on evaluate and deliver project benefits and value. So evaluate, continuous evaluation of value is there. Uh, uh, that's something you do. And your tools which we are using here is definitely overall benefit management understanding and understanding of project performance reports which we do on a periodic basis.